what's up guys i wanted to talk about pets and how people are obsessed with them and um you know i'm not saying everyone that has a pet is like this but i think the majority of people um, have pets for these reasons that i'm gonna tell you so i've been seeing people having more and more dogs and walking them outside and i was thinking you know why and also by observing how they treat their dogs this thought came up to me and that is why are there so many dog owners and in my opinion it's because people forgot how to treat each other so they get these dogs right we know how dogs are they can love you unconditionally even when you treat them like trash they are still loyal to you and and still treat you as their owner so you know i think people are compensating for the fact that they don't know how to treat other people and nobody wants to be around them so they get a dog who you know is just loyal to you through the hardships through anything and it's kind of i don't know it's like a cheat code like you don't deserve love but you still demand it or still want it so you get it through a cheat code which is a pet companion either dog or a cat but cats are a little bit different i'm going to talk about that later now that is one thing another thing is that people love their pets too much where they consider them as their children and then you know they don't get children and then they get too old i don't know if they even realize it but when they get older their pet like you know passes away and they have they are left with nothing no legacy no anything um and it's kind of naive because you know people believe many things like for example the world is overpopulated like it doesn't matter or all all random convictions of theirs their beliefs which are not true you know and it's for this reason it's important to understand matters and um reality and legacy and all these things that uh the society doesn't acknowledge nowadays right we don't cherish like a you know respect and being honorable and bravery or like compassion all these things people are forgetting and you know i think those things are the most important ones that's what makes us human but um yeah the the system that we are in the capitalism it doesn't really cherish that or or reward that so people um, shy away from it you know people are more drawn to like uh, greed and materialism and consumerism so yeah they forget to be human and treat each other so that's why they get these pets and um you know don't get me wrong having a pet is amazing but um many people are compensating their lack of humanity in them within them now about cats um cats are different like i've seen men and women having like having cats and you know saying how 
they love them, but the cat, I mean, they are cool, but then again, it's not supposed to be a substitute. It should be like a companion, but you shouldn't be substituting the lack of um, human interaction and human relationships in your life with that. Some women have no other choice because they've been irritating, you know, the, these Karens that um, they hate. They even hate dogs because they resemble like a man or man's personality. So, so, you know, and that is the thing. The people that don't know how to appreciate other people, other people, or the other gender, don't acknowledge the reality. You know that both genders are different, and we should respect each other, respect for who they are or how they are. You know, just acknowledge, and that is only possible with understanding. Understanding is essential for compassion. So, you know, just as I said, nobody cares to understand each other, you know, the other person. And, you know, you got this result where, where uh, people don't understand anything anymore, not even themselves. So, yeah. Get back to our roots, you know. Everything natural is how it's supposed to be. You know. Get back to your prime, your primal state. Primal state of yours as a human being. That's where you'll find strength again. That's how you will be able to find fulfillment all prosperity for yourself. No. Because the more we shy away from our essence, our human essence, the more we're unhappy, depressed. So... <sighs> right, you know. And women, it's kind of hard because... Yeah. There will be hard times ahead for them and some people realize too late and it's a shame you know in that position the best thing you can do is to repent you know acknowledge your mistakes and then admit them take responsibility but women are not supposed to take responsibility for such huge you know such huge mistakes or you know huge things but it is what it is, you know. We've been very, very separated in every way. Humanity in general, like genders, age groups, um, I don't know, skin color, anything you can think of. Because the system knows that when people unite, they are much stronger and they can help each other and stuff like that you know and the system wants to conquer you so it separates you or us rather also to speak on the topic um the pets won't be able to take care of you when you are older and not able to take care of yourself properly anymore that's where you know having children is is so amazing and it uh, pays off right people don't think long term people think short term i don't know why but um you gotta think long term you know at least partially or to some extent because if you won't, you will pay the 
price for the consequences, you know. And, and having children is just, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's for every single one of you to decide how, how valuable it is to you. But I'm telling you, it it's worth it. Um. Also, it's an ultimate test of your character. Like, yeah, I can see why people, you know, try to avoid it because they are incapable. They are immature. Nowadays, so many people are immature. And, and raising a child is truly the test of tests. And you got to be mature to raise the child properly. So, it's more like people are cowards nowadays. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. Don't be a coward and you'll stand out. Is it a good thing or a bad thing if you stand out? Most of the time you'll get a lot of shit for it. I'm telling you because I know. You know, a nail that sticks out gets hit by the hammer. But that's the cost of mm, of knowing what you're supposed to be. Many people don't know what they're supposed to be like. And that's a shame because we are capable of so much. <laughs> I derailed. So, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.